my name is Geir Scheie. I'm working here at Stockholm University as a professor of uh, religious education and in the department of the education in humanities and social sciences. I think religion is, uh, in school is a very important tool for uh, making it better uh, or easier for, for people to live together in society which is, which is diverse. Uh, and, and school is uh, now one of the few collective or common arenas where these issues can be taken up. So I th that's one reason I think why religious education is still important in school, if it is good religious education. Well, in order to, to work with how to teach and learn about religion in school, you need to know something about religion in society. And it's, that is changing all the time. In the Nordic countries like Sweden, we have had the past with a strong uh, tradition of uh, teaching the Christian religion, which also was the state religion. And now we are far beyond that. Now it's teaching about religions and worldviews in the plural. And in order to do that, you, you have to know something about the changes that are happening to religion in society and try to filter that into school as well. Because the pupils you meet in school, they are living in the same society. They are used to living together with people with different beliefs and different religions. And that has to be reflected also in the teaching and learning in school. Well, religious education research is both uh, normative in the sense that it's trying to find solutions and uh, suggest ways of working with teaching and learning in school, but it's also a descriptive uh, science. We're researching uh, how young people uh, think about religion, how teachers think about what the practices they are involved in and so on. The teachers sometimes say that it's difficult to get the pupil to open up and uh, for instance, in Swedish schools, you will often find a situation where the, the secular pupils, the pupils with a background in secular worldviews, are dominating the classroom. And then sometimes the, the pupils with a religious background, they don't feel confident coming out with their views. So then you get a, a discussion in the classroom that's not re really representing the views of the pupils, it, but it's not also not representing the views of the people in the society. And so the plurality in the society is not then uh, represented in the classroom. And then there is a challenge for the teacher how to deal with this. And the, te it, the challenge is both the teacher's knowledge, because many teachers in religion uh, do not have the, uh, the sufficient uh, subject area knowledge to enter into these discussions. So the pupils know more about the religions than the teachers do. And another difficulty is that the uh, teachers sometimes are a bit insecure of the, about the tensions uh, among the pupils and therefore are reluctant to enter into the discussions. So sometimes the discussions are suffering from that. But many teachers are also interested in developing their teaching into a better uh, environment in the classroom. One teacher I worked with, for instance, made a, a cardboard uh, house, she called it, a religious house that could be equipped uh, as a church, as a mosque, as a temple and so on. And so she worked with her small uh, pupils uh, filling in the materials that should be in the house. If it was a church, they would put in an altar. And if it was a mosque, they would put in a place for the imam to, to talk about the, the, the Quran lesson and so on. And, and by doing this together with the pupils, they were better acquainted with the, with the way these religious houses were made up, but they could also discuss what is a religious house, they could discuss how much do we know about it. They even had looked through the windows and discussed the issues related to how much do we see when we look from the outside into a room through the window, we don't see everything. So there was a lot of opportunities to, to deal with quite complex complicated issues related to religion with quite small children by this, this device that she just made up as part of our joint uh, development project. Mm -hmm. 